Welcome back everyone to another episode of The Road Chose Me. My name's Dan and here we are, we're back on the mainland. Today, it's Dad and I on adventure in the Victorian high country. So we've driven back up for a track that I've always wanted to do. This today is the Crooked River track. So this thing has something like 35 river crossings just today. And uh, my dad has never driven a four wheel drive. He's never been four wheel driving. So today, dad's gonna be the stunt driver and I'm gonna run around with cameras. We'll bring you along. I'll show you what every single river crossing looks like here on the Crooked River track. Can you tell I'm excited? Let's go, this is gonna be a lot of fun. All right guys, so we've driven about 100 yards from where I filmed that intro. And I don't think we're technically on the Crooked River track yet, but this is, I guess, the first river crossing. This is, I think, the one in Gadda River. And uh, of course, I'm horribly cheating and being ridiculous because there is a bridge right there that is perfectly good to drive across. But I feel like, you know, we're here, we're attempting to do the Crooked River track with a ton of river crossings. Why wouldn't we have a look if we can actually drive across? And I am a fairly cautious four wheel driver, as you guys know. So I would much rather walk across stuff like this before driving it. And of course, I don't have to worry about crocodiles. We're in the south of Australia. There's no crocs down here. Famous last words. So here we go. Let's walk across. Uh, so far, no problem at all. I'm staying a little bit left, but it wouldn't even matter if I went right. I'll put my polarizing glasses on so I can see the bottom. And it looks perfectly fine to me. All right, so here I am across the other side and you can see dad on the far bank there in front of the bridge in the Jeep. Tell you what, that's a pretty nice photo. And so the water just touched the bottom of my knees. You can see my shorts got a little bit wet and there are no holes. There really aren't any boulders to speak of. Maybe one or two are gonna touch the control arms or something, but uh, I feel really good about it. I don't think it's a problem at all. The only thing I need to do now is I'll go back, I'll stand next to the Jeep and I'll see how deep is that compared to the Jeep. I don't even think it's top of the tires, but this is what I'm gonna to do today. Every river crossing, I'll bring you along. I'll show you what they look like. Let's see if we can convince dad to drive this thing. <laughs> all right, here we go, everyone. I'm back across the other side because I've got all my cameras. Dad's just about to go and set up. This is his first time in low range four wheel drive and I'm getting him to cross a river. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna put the GoPro down. I'll leave you guys here. But because I have the microphone on, I should be able to keep talking to you guys. So if we set the GoPro about here and I'm gonna run around with my big camera, I need to get photos of this. We'll leave you guys there. You might see me in the foreground taking photos. Let's see how dad goes with his first river crossing. Here he comes down the hill. Yeah, give us a smile. <laughs> Perfect. So there you have it, slow and steady, no problem at all. We knew it wasn't very deep, but that's a really good introduction to what we're gonna have for the entire day. There's only 33 of those to go. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of fun. Let's see what dad thought. What did you think of that, dad? That's pretty easy. That's <laughs> pretty easy? Pretty easy, yeah, gee. The just feels so safe and comfortable. It's kind of a non-event, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very nice. Here we are, everyone. River crossing number two. Uh, we just drove for like five, 10 minutes down a really nice windy road, like kind of stuck to the side of the mountain. And uh, again, I'm getting dad to drive. Well, this one's quite a bit deeper. Oh, I might actually give dad some directions here. All right, this one's already at the bottom of my knees. I think I'm gonna get dad over there where it's much shallower. Uh, no need to go through the super deep stuff if we don't have to. So as soon as he comes around the corner, I'll get him uh, to go where I say. Yeah, it's way shallower. I can see with my polarized glasses on, it makes it really easy to see through the water. If not, you can see I'm, uh, well, I'm coming up, not still not waist high or anything, but actually it does get a little bit deeper further upstream too. So yeah, better that he stays over here. There's a couple of boulders here as well that I want him to avoid. 
I actually want him to go over this way. So here he comes now, you're gonna go over here. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> what gear is he in? I think maybe he just rolled down the hill in neutral or the transfer case is in neutral, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm thinking the transfer case is in neutral. That's fine, the water's not deep. It's been a little bit, there it goes, I just heard he might have just got it in low range, yep. It's been a little tricky to get the Gladiator into low range. Um, especially with the auto transmission, I haven't really figured it out myself yet. You have to go through neutral in the regular transmission. Um, and then, you know, you can move the transfer case. But yeah, it's all a learning experience. Here's dad coming through the water. <laughs> How good is this? River crossing number two, I am loving it. <laughs> what a day this is gonna be. Number two, uh, 30 something to go. Stick with us. All right, here we are about 100 y yards later and we've got another river crossing. Uh, I can't be bothered walking this one. So when you're ready, dad, we're just gonna go for it. We can see reasonably well from where we're sitting. It looks way shallower on the right and way deeper over on the left. So let's see how we go. I'll hang out the window. I'd say even more right, Dad. It's fine. You can see all those rocks over there. Yeah. yeah. You can see this side's getting a little deep. We're nearly at the top of the tire. <laughs> Versus over there, we're barely even wet. And there we go, climbing back up and out. Just like that. Number three, complete. Here we are, river crossing number four. I'm just walking across to check it out. Once again, it looks like there's a very shallow line here near this little rock ripple wall versus I think it gets pretty deep or, you know, I don't know, not, not waist deep, but deep enough over there. So, I mean, you can pick your poison if you wanted to come here and have lots of high splashes and maybe even scoop a bit of water over your hood, then that's probably what you could do. But um, for me personally, I don't need to make river crossings deeper than they are. I mean, hey, it's fun, it looks cool, but um, I think it makes more sense to come over here on the edge where it's less deep, and then you'll be able to just straighten up and go straight out there. So really worth walking them. I'm finding it actually really enjoyable because it's taking the stress out of you know, what is in the unknown and really handy that the water's clear, I can see through it. And of course, not worrying about crocodiles is nice too. There we go, that was number four in the bag. And uh, I'd say that was probably the deepest one yet, partially just because there isn't much of an option. And you could see dad, I guess, got a little snagged on a rock there and had to like use a bit of throttle. And um, that time I actually told him he was just in regular four wheel drive, not low range. And so maybe it would have been easier in low range. It would have just sort of crawled over it. Here we are at crossing number five. I'm gonna say that was our longest stretch without a river crossing. That must have been at least 10 minutes. Heaven forbid. <laughs> this is insane. I've never been anywhere like this. We're just, the, the river is zigzagging and we're more or less just driving a straight line, just uh, crossing it as many times as we can. <laughs> number five looks less deep than the others. The bottom is totally fine. There are no big boulders, there are no holes. So I will set you guys up somewhere and I will set myself up somewhere to get some photos. And now here we are, camps uh, river crossing number seven. And that on the other side is the Talbotville campground. And actually Katie and I drove in here back in December and I watched a convoy come through this river crossing. 
and I'd already walked it and it was about waist deep back then. And I decided it probably wasn't worth it as a solo vehicle. And then watching those six vehicles come through, I definitely knew it wasn't worth it. The last one actually ingested water into the engine. He conked out halfway across, but they had like roped up and so they pulled him through and then they messed around for about an hour on the far bank and they couldn't get it running. And so they were gonna tow it out. He probably destroyed his engine crossing this river crossing right here. So that really confirmed to me that I didn't need to be messing with this particular river crossing at that time. And looking at it now, I'd say the water is two, maybe even three feet lower than it was. It's, it's a big difference. I just had to tell dad to stop because he's so keen. He wants to just hurry up and get across. But um, yeah, it's funny to be back and realize what it looks like and how it is. And I recognize this too. I'm standing on sand right now and it drops off a bit there and gets a little bit deeper. That was the deepest spot last time. And I remember this log in the way and a few things. So once again, I will set you guys on the bank here, give you guys prime viewing, get some of this grass out of the way, and we will see how it looks as dad comes across. There we go, number seven in the bag. Let's keep going. Now I think we actually get into the stretch. There are 23 river crossings in the next eight kilometers. What's that like five miles, four and a half miles? So it might actually be faster for me just to never get back in the Jeep and just keep walking the whole time so I can film everything. <laughs> so yeah, we might have a bite of lunch here. It is midday. And you can see this is a stunning, stunning campground. There's a few people here. And uh, let's keep going on the Crooked River track. Here we are, guys. We're at that Talbotville campground and decided to stop for lunch. So dad's got leftover chicken parmi and chips. Chicken parmi is an Aussie food I have to teach you guys about. And for myself, I couldn't help it. I made massive sandwiches, ham, lettuce, tomato, cheese, cucumber, mustard, of course. We've got some grapes for a second course. We've got cold water out of the fridge. Where else would you rather be? This is our lunch stop. Seven river crossings down, 20 to go, 25 to go. <laughs> Things are about to get really fun. All right, everyone, lunch is over and we've lined up river crossing number eight. Let's go for it. Dad's at the helm again. I am co-pilot. Are you in drive or did you leave it in neutral? In neutral. All right, I reckon go for it. Haven't walked this one, feeling overly confident and lazy after lunch. And no surprises there, the Jeep walks through river crossing number eight. And now we're in it. I expect we're gonna have a river crossing about every hundred yards. Let's see what it looks like. Here we are, I'm walking across river crossing number 10 and this one's got quite a corner in it. I told dad to stay over here where I am, which is very shallow and then to straighten up. Looks like if you cut the corner, it'll get deep really fast. I mean, not deep enough to be a problem, but there's no reason to be deeper than you need to be. And so I'm gonna photograph this one. I'll show you guys what it looks like in photograph form rather than video form. Here is number 11 coming up. Looks pretty straightforward. Again, it's a little bit deeper on one side than the other, but I don't think there is anything to worry about. Thank you. 
We've got a lot of engine braking right now in low range. snake absolutely knows I'm here and was about to come all the way down now that the car went and then totally stopped and now he's actually moving backwards. I've never seen a snake move backwards. He looks a little perturbed though so I'm gonna give him some space. say that was a bonus that doesn't even count as a river crossing Nice and slow on the way in. Gets a bit deep or whatever, you can use a bit of right throttle. Perfect, perfect. one in the bag and you guys didn't see it on film but coming up here you might be able to see it on the mud there the rear tire slid off this high spot so everything slid to the left and actually I would say that's the auxiliary gas tank that ended up on the ground it didn't go bang it didn't hit hard but it did hit where the water is Oops, is there something to the right? I'll have a look you, you stay straight I'm gonna say go where the water is those watery wheel ruts. Looks like on this one we get to drive in the river a bit. It's a bit different. Ooh. Crossing, crossing. Oh! I didn't double crossing. So far so good. Nice and steady. Yep, you're totally fine. Keeping your side or my side? Probably yours, but it doesn't, there's nothing there that actually matters. It'll just, uh, you can go about this speed. <laughs> Pretty impressive, eh? It's fun to take Dad out here and show him what the Jeep's capable of. It's actually, you know, kind of mind-blowing, obviously, for someone that's never driven a good four-wheel drive in low range. Just walked up that, I heard the tyres slip the tiniest bit. I heard them slip on that last one too, the second last one. Because they're wet, I guess, coming out of the water.
brakes. So there we have it. This is the end of the Crooked River track. We made it, as I said, totally lost count of all the river crossings, 30 and a bit, but I'll put the number on the screen. Dad drove every single one of those. I was running around cameras. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. And now we're right down at the river again. And I guess it goes on, it's called the mining track. And I don't know if you can see on the far side, they kind of obviously pushed a bulldozer through there, who knows, 50 years ago, but as far as we go, we are not going any further in the Jeep. And so we kind of have two options from here. We could go back the way we came, which is fun. Or if we're interested in having a cold beverage sooner than that, there's a track here. It looks like it's going to climb pretty steeply. It's got some switchbacks in it and then join us onto a road that'll actually wrap us back around to the campground where we had lunch. And dad and I both agree, green grass, shade, river for swimming. These are all our priorities for tonight. You can see we think alike. So that's the direction we're gonna head. Let's go. Away from Crooked River Track, that was every bit as good as I hoped it would be. I'm so happy I could do it with my dad. Couldn't be any better than that. Let's keep going, see what we find next. All right, everyone, so it's a couple of hours later and we drove down to the same campsite where we had lunch because it's so beautiful here. Uh, I actually went for a swim in the river an hour ago. It was beautiful. And this massive thunderstorm just rolled through. We've had thunder, we've had lightning. But in the meantime, I cooked dinner for us and you'll be very excited to see what dinner is tonight. Check it out, gourmet hot dogs, tomato sauce, ketchup, no, tomato sauce, mustard, onions, cheese on delicious white bread buns. And some of you might make a funny comment and say the quality of the food has changed significantly now that Katie's not around for this trip. I don't think these things are related. I think it's a totally different story. Uh, Dad and I are living our best life here. We're hunkering a little bit under the awning right now, but it does seem like things are clearing. I actually see some blue sky right up there. So dinner time and then we're just going to relax, enjoy ourselves. We might light a campfire. We might sit out for the evening. We're actually not sure. So. Crooked River track with my dad. I'm excited. This has been such a good day. So no doubt we're going to tell some stories and talk a while. Thanks for joining us.